Lateral and medial malleolar fractures repaired with a tension band wire and a 2.7 millimeter cortex screw. In this exercise, these are the fractures to be repaired. The landmarks for the incision for the lateral malleolar fracture are the fibular malleolus and the base of the fifth metatarsal bone. The foam is incised over the lateral aspect of the fibula and the tarsus. The foam is retracted to expose the fracture. A hole is drilled with a K wire through the fibula, one centimeter proximal to the fracture. A strand of wire is placed through the hole. A K wire is inserted, starting at the malleolus and exiting at the fracture. The fracture is reduced and the wire is driven proximally. The figure of eight wire is secured to form a tension band. The landmarks for the incision for the medial malleolar fracture are the distal tibia, the medial malleolus, and the base of the second metatarsal bone. The foam is incised over the medial aspect of the distal tibia and the tarsus, and the fracture is exposed. The malleolar fragment is over-drilled from inside out to ensure proper placement of the screw while avoiding the articular surface. The fracture is reduced and secured with a 2.7 millimeter lag screw. An anti-rotational K-wire can be used with a larger fragment.